Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we will learn the calculation for multiple intravenous bolus and infusion. First, pause the video to attempt the questions and then play the video to listen to my explanation. For question number one, you need to familiar with the equation for multiple bolus and infusion dose. Now pause the video to attempt the questions. The dose of 1200 mg is given over 24 hour. The interval is 8 hour and the dose will be 400 mg. To calculate the maximum dose, you need to use the equation for bolus steady state. Put in the value 400 divided by the volume 50 and the accumulation factor. Your answer for this part will be 8.3 To calculate the trough concentration, you need to add in the E power negative K tau component. Using 8.3 multiply by E power 0 0.4 multiply by 8, the minimum concentration will be 0 0.34 mg per liter. This is the equation to calculate the average steady state concentration. Before that, you need to calculate the clearance. Given that K is equal to clearance divided by volume, for the clearance, there will be 0 0.4 multiplied by 50. The clearance will be 20 liter per hour. Putting in all the value, the dose will be 400 divide by the clearance 20, multiply by the interval. Your answer for average steady state concentration will be 2.5 mg per liter. To calculate the maximum concentration for multiple infusion, you need to use this equation to calculate the concentration during the steady state. Over here, you need to use the infusion rate 400 divided by 20 and the infusion time is 1 hour multiply the accumulation factor. Your answer for this will be around 6.86 mg per liter. To calculate the trough concentration, you need to put in the EKT component. Using 6.86 multiplied by the interval is 8 minus infusion time 1. Your answer for this will be 0 0.42. To calculate the average steady state concentration, the equation is the same as the bolus administration. The dose is 400, clearance multiplied by the interval. Your answer will be the same, 2.5 mg per liter. That's all for question number one. Let's try another question for multiple bolus administration. Now pause the video to attempt the questions. First, we need to calculate the peak and trough concentration to check whether 250 mg is sufficient to achieve the target. Over here, the sort factor is 0 0.8. Therefore, you need to include the sort factor in the equation. Putting in all the value, that will be 0 0.8 multiplied by the dose, divided by the volume, and the accumulation factor. Your answer in this case will be 16.4. To calculate the trough, we use 16.4 multiplied by EK tau, the answer for trough concentration will be 3.9. From here, we notice that the peak is too low. And of course, the trough is lower than 5. Therefore, we need to redesign a new dose for this patient. In this case, first, we need to check the interval. How long does it take for 20? to drop to 5. 
To identify this interval, we need to use this equation. The minimum concentration will be maximum multiplied by ek tau. Solving the tau, the interval will be 11.5 hour. We will use 12 hour because it is the practical dose to administer the drug. With this interval, then we can target the peak concentration. 20 is equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by the dose, the volume 16, and the accumulation factor. With that, your recommended dose will be 303 mg. We can take this value to round up 300 mg every 12 hourly. That's all for question number 2. Question number 3 is the calculation for multiple bolus administration. Let's try another question. Now pause the video to attempt the questions. First, we need to calculate the Ke using 2.2 divided by the volume 24. The Ke will be 0 0.091. Next, we need to check whether it's 120 mg is able to achieve the peak concentration. Putting in the value 120 divided by volume 24 and the accumulation factor with interval of 12. Solve this and you will notice the peak concentration is 7.55 which is too high compared to the targeted 5 mg per liter. To recommend a new dose, first you need to identify the interval for 5 to drop below 1. You need to use this equation, 1 is equal to 5 multiply by ek tau. Solving this, the tau will be 17.7 hour. Usually, in clinical practice, the interval we use will be 12, 8, 12, 24, 36 or 48. I will use 24 hour as the interval because the trough is less than 1. Next, with the interval, we can calculate the dose. Targeting the maximum 5, dose divided by volume and the accumulation factor. The dose will be 106 mg 24 hourly. You can either round this up to 100 or 110 mg. This is the second part for question 3. The steady state concentrations were measured and now we need to calculate a new dose for Mr. KW. Pause the video to attempt the questions. With the new concentration, now we need to calculate the new Ke for this patient. Using ln 3.8 minus ln 5.6 and the time interval 6. The Ke for this patient now is 0 0.063. Next, let us check the interval. That will be 1, 5, multiplied by E, power 0 0.063 multiplied by tau. The tau will be 25.5 hour. I will use 24 hour as the interval. So it is the same as the previous interval. Let us design a new dose for this patient. 5 dose divided by 24 and the accumulation factor. Solving this, the dose will be 93 mg every 24 hour. You can round this up to 90 or you can use 100. That's all for question number 3. For question number 4, we will look at the calculation for multiple infusion. Now pause the video to attempt the questions. To calculate the Ke, I'm sure you are familiar with this equation. Lon 1.6 minus Lon 
divide the time interval 4. Your answer for Ke will be 0 0.275. To calculate the T half, that will be ln 2 0 0.693 divided by the Ke 0 0.275. The T half will be 2 and half hour. To calculate peak and trough, you can use another easier way. Before I, I explain, let me sketch out the graph. It should look something like this. 1 hour for infusion and this is time point number 8. At time point number 2, when t equal to 2, the concentration is 4.8. When t equal to 6, the concentration is 1.6. From here, I can construct two different equations. To calculate the concentration at maximum, that will be 4.8 is equal to the CSX maximum drop for one hour from the peak. With that, my CSX maximum is 6.3 To calculate CSS minimum, there will be time point number 6 drop for another 2 hour. That will be 1.6 multiply 0 0.275 for 2 hour. The trough concentration will be 0 0.92. Question 5 is the calculation for multiple infusion. We need to design a new dose for this patient. Now pause the video to attempt the questions. Let me sketch out the graph to have a clearer explanation. The infusion time is 2 hours. 2 hours after the end, the concentration is 15. 6 hours after the end, the concentration is 9.8. Using this information, ln 9.8 minus ln 15, 6 minus 2. Your Ke will be 0 0.108. To calculate the clearance, we can use this equation. This is only the first dose Therefore, you should not add in the accumulation factor. Let me use the time point 4. Put in the value 15. The infusion rate is 500. Clearance. And the Ke 0 0.108. The infusion time is 2 hour. E minus 108. The tau over here it should be the interval. The interval will be time point number 4 minus 2. So this should be T. Solve this, your clearance will be 5.21 or 5.2. To design a new dose and interval for this patient, first we will need to find the half-life. I will show you the other way to estimate the interval. We use 0 0.693 divided by the Ke 0 0.108. The half-life will be approximately 6.4 hours. The target peak is 20. After one half-life, it will drop to 10 and then 5, 2.5 to 1.25. Over here, you will notice that it will require approximately 4 half-life and the trough 2 mg per liter will fall somewhere over here. Therefore, I'm going to use 4 half-life, approximately 25.6 hour, and I will use 24 hour as my dosing interval. Now we can calculate the new dose. The peak is 20, the infusion rate, and the clearance 5.21. The infusion time, I'm keeping in the same as 2 hour and the accumulation factor. 
now the interval is 24 solving this the infusion rate will be 500 mg per hour so now you can recommend 500 mg per hour for two hours every 24 hourly that's all for the tutorial thank you very much for your attention